Welcome to my morning in the life with a nine month old baby and a two and a half, almost three years old toddler. I've actually wanted to do a full day in the life video and I actually started it one day, but it was just too hard to make it. So I decided to try and do a morning in the life video and see how this goes. If you're new to my channel, I am a mom of two. I am originally from Romania and I live in Canada now. I've been living here for the past 11 years. I married a Canadian husband and we have two kids. So I speak Romanian to my kids so that they can learn my native language. And we live on the east coast of Canada in a small, small town. So we have a slow paced life, slow routine, which is exactly what I like <laughs> for this stage of life. <laughs> <laughs> now we're playing in Levi's room and lately they've both been enjoying this room a lot. I'm gonna show you what I did for Levi in this room. If somebody's gonna let me. So the first and best thing was that I bought him the CD player. And we've been going to the library lots. And at the library they have CDs as well. So we've been getting CDs from the library. I'm gonna show you. These are all the CDs we have from the library. Not this one. There's a lot of learning ones and for example right now we're listening to this one which is in French. It's a grammar one and they also have stories like that. Okay. 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 And if you can't tell by now, Levi has a little shadow that follows him everywhere. It's his little sister who loves him so much and wants to be wherever he is. So you've seen how our morning goes. We wake up usually between 6 and 7. We make breakfast, we eat, play. And Tess will normally take a nap before lunch and then we eat lunch, Levi and I, and then she eats lunch when she wakes up. I stay at home all the time with the kids. My husband goes to work and the days really blend together sometimes. It's, it's always the same, but time's going by, Tess is growing up, Levi's growing up. I'm noticing changes in both of them. It's really nice to know that they're getting older and more independent. I am hoping to do homeschooling with both of them. I love to be with them all the time. I haven't looked into homeschooling very much, but that's my plan and my hope to do with them. Levi's gonna turn three in January and we're already doing a few educational activities. I have some books for him that I'm doing with activities like drawing and connecting the dots. And I bought him an easel with a drawing board. I have the CD with different languages from the library, French and Spanish. 
Cinci cartofi. So yeah, this is where we are right now. Ce faci tu, Levi? Spune tu ceva lui mama. Te iubesc. Te iubesc. Tess is asleep and now we came outside to our beloved garden to look for some green peas which is exactly what we've been doing all summer long when she naps Levi and I come outside and go to the garden eat green peas Found a really good one. Found a really good one. One? Ah. One in Kuala, I vitamin. I'm gonna show you what's left of my garden. I actually replanted these peas in the middle of the summer because we went through them so quick the first time. I have a few broccoli barely hanging on here. I have to harvest these soon. These are the peas. I have a sunflower here that the crows have been eating a little bit. And over here I had potatoes and carrots and cucumbers. I pulled them all out. I have some tomatoes left. Um, I left these two broccoli grow very long because I wanted to see if they're seeding so I can keep the seeds for next summer. I planted a lot of eggplant here and out of all of them only one grew. And I had some dill here that I'm letting seed. And then over here I have a second garden. I had corn here, pulled it all out. I have some parsley there. I have some kale that grew from where I planted it last year. I didn't plant this this year, but the seed stayed in the ground. And I have some blueberries, 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 blueberries. And over here some strawberries and some mint. And that's it. This year I didn't have a big garden, but next year I plan to do it triple the size and have lots and lots of more veggies because I just love it, love gardening. Like love having my own vegetables and fruit grown just organic in my backyard. It's the best for me.